There are some people who come to different enterprises like cafes, restaurants, IT companies and confiscate primary documentation, but this situation is unacceptable. I emphasize that as a Prime Minister, I will protect the rights of honest business in Ukraine. I would like my words were taken absolutely seriously. I also want to emphasize that some decisions about protecting business from this pressure were taken by the president of our country. These phrases are said by people who want that our state would become better and democratic. But in fact, at night, some criminals, people in masks and with weapons in their hands, have broken into the room where a businessman carried out his activity. Meanwhile, they had no scruples to hit or insult an officer of the businessman. As it turned out later, these people were police officers. How much longer are these banned coppers will harass us and profit from us? The paradox is that police aims to protect, but not to torture us. The paradox is that police aims to protect, but not to torture us. As first they hadn't even introduced themselves and they only were rude and threatened us. Meanwhile, police officers told all the time that it was just a business and we had been contracted on, about which business it is said. The police is a board set by the law to protect us and uphold human rights. This lawlessness raises many questions. To get answers, we appealed to National Police Department of Kherson District. The Deputy Chief of Investigating Department, Natalia Ivanenko, agreed to have a conversation with us. First of all, we are interested in the question. If it was necessary to carry out investigation acts and searching in particular at night. Carrying out of investigating acts at night time was subjected by some points. First of all, after committed crime had been identified, it was urgency to carry out investigation. Secondly, we didn't violate the working regime of this enterprise, because it works for 24 hours, so I don't see any violations by investigative authorities. The officer of the businessman, they defaced the property of the seller. They removed seals of matters and destroyed everything. It was also said two interesting phrases by these people. The first phrase is, this is just a business. As for me, police is not a business, and it is a governmental structure. And the second phrase is, it's nothing personal. The question is also if it was so necessary to attract special forces and police officers in masks and body armors. Are police officers really afraid of six girls and bring lug nuts with them to have a physical protection? We know that this is a message pillar, but we don't know who and how many people are there. Officers who were invited by special police were invited for physical protection of police officers and they were also invited to prevent some violations further. We didn't fight police officers. And what about the fact of insulting and using a physical force against businessmen's officers? Those ones who consider that their rights have been violated can make a report to the police with regard to inappropriate behavior of police officers. However, first of all, they must review own behavior. If they behaved in appropriate way during searching, Maybe they behaved inadequate and so they got an appropriate response by police. Actually, the situation was diametrically opposite. An investigator is such a foul mouth. She was chanting profanity all the time. She called us with different words like prostitutes, animals and so on. The most often she said we were animals. There was a person who videotaped everything during the search. I know that his name is Leonid. He said, you are the thin animal. He also punched me in the face. I was thrown away on the sofa. An officer was clutched and then she was thrown away on the sofa and strangled. Nobody has strangled them. What are you saying about?
They hadn't a shred of humanity left in them if they could hit a woman. The most interesting is that they will not hit their mother, wife, daughter, but they can hit a stranger even despite the fact that this person can be somebody's mother, wife or daughter. And what about the behavior of official witnesses who acted the same as police? If there were some violations and official witnesses behaved in an appropriate way, there is a video with investigation acts, so a prosecutor can say if somebody acted legally or illegally. Under the 223rd article of the Court of Criminal Procedure of Ukraine, an injured party suspects relatives, defendants' relatives, injured parties' relatives, law enforcement officials and those who are interested in the result of criminal proceedings can be official witnesses. It was clearly that these official witnesses were experienced. They advised investigator what to take and called her Alenochka. They are her relatives, because they had visual similarity with her. They also were rude with officers of the enterprise. So, these official witnesses aren't ordinary citizens. It is clear that they were interested in the result of this certain. The health of the person is the highest social value. It is said in our constitution. However, is it so indeed? What can you say about non-admission of health workers? Health workers were called by police and it was provided medical emergency which was necessary. They didn't let us call medical workers, though there were people who have respiratory illness. I felt bad, I suffocated, but they didn't want to call health workers for an hour. But in fact, nobody wanted to call house workers. It was an element of psychological pressure against businessmen's workers. During the searching, investigator has to provide an opportunity to participate in this action for those people who are in a room. We were rounded up in a room, and it was said for us not to leave the room. There were men near the entrance who prohibited us to enter. Five people moved about the cell and sequestrated. It was reported of that there was one person who showed the rooms where investigation was conducted. However, in fact, as we see, the words are different from doing, and all spacing around the placement, like they are in their houses, can find every proof which they need or don't need. They can take everything they want as a trophy. Okay, with great difficulties, but we have dealt with involvement of specialized units. They should provide physical protection, but it isn't clear from who. However, why it was necessary to demonstrate firearm and physically intimidate girls? Does our police defend against them? The police officers didn't pull their guns and no Nobody demonstrated them. Oh, if is it true? Let's appeal to original source. One person grabbed me and another one pulls his gun on me. So it is sanely. When police officer not to be bothered to gain trophies threatened with a pistol, security service or a girl. And why the situation is in the state which aims to join European community? According to the part 9 in the 236th article of the Code of Criminal Procedure, the second copy of the search record with the list of retake possession must be given to the person who was sought so. However, the reality is far from this. The copy of the record wasn't given. It was handed over to a girl who nowadays is suspected. Probably it was made for that businessman and his staff couldn't understand which things were removed and which things were stolen. So, was it necessary to damage and break everything? There wasn't given a response. Confidentiality of investigation. A passport of Ukrainian citizen is a document that confirms a nationality and is your identity card. According to paragraph 23 in the resolution adopted by the Supreme Council of Ukraine about approving the contents about the passport of Ukrainian citizens, it is forbidden to withhold a passport unless in cases provided by law. There are such cases as confiscation of a passport if there are some indications of falsification, confiscation of the passport of the person who was arrested or in the cases of persons imprisonment. In other cases, nobody has the right to withhold passport.
If our police officers don't know about this reel, in other case, why did they keep passports of the businessman's staff? Passports and driving license were seized. I hear for the first time that passports were seized. It was taking my phone, money and documents. Also, they took away driving license and documents with permission for my work. During the search, police officers even ate the products of the staff, such as borscht, little and chocolate, cigarettes, alcohol. But who has given this right for them? So, girls suggested them to indulge caramels because they had been there for 10 hours. Is it permitted? No, it isn't permitted. They eat borscht, sweets, chocolate, they threw wraps on the floor, they also smoked in the room, though it isn't allowed. Cigarette ash was everywhere. However, it wasn't a finish. After all this action, police officers caught one of the employees and took her away. They didn't pay attention that this woman is a single mother of two little children. They took her to a temporary detention facility where she had been kept for three days from Friday till Monday. Nobody thought about children. It's interesting, if they could leave their children alone at home? The answer is, of course, no. According to the operative information, children really live in Kherson. It is confirmed by records. What about relatives? As you suggest to establish 24-hour arrest, who will take care about children? It is allowed to leave the premises for some time with the permission of investigator. Who will maintain her and her children if you suggest to establish a house arrest with 24-hour watch? Who will? Maybe investigate? Or you will? Because I will not sure. It's clear, your honor, but this preventive measure is optimal. Do you have money to live for two months with your children? No, I haven't. So we will appeal about detention. Afterwards, it was said about suspicion and she was left the court room with preventive measure as home arrest. Investigator's application about home arrest with 24 hours watch was satisfied by Tell. The preventive measure is home arrest from 7 p.m. to 9 a.m. On the 16th of November this year, Supreme Council of Ukraine supported the bill number 7275 which protects businessmen of security forces press. This bill has already been named Musky Show Stop Among the People. This bill aims to enhance security guarantees for business in Ukraine. If the biggest critic was about unfounded acts of force that were during search and mandated by the court, the President and the Prime Minister said about the necessity of argumentation of this action to reduce to a minimum them. It seems like a realization of human rights granted by 59th article of Ukraine Constitution. And how it is implemented in reality, you will see and hear now. Why didn't lawyer provide documents which identify him and show that he is empowered to practice law to the head of department who had led investigative activity? If they were actually arrived on the place where investigative activities had been kept without any documents, a card, certificate, these are things which he always take with him. 
When I arrived on the search into the street Chernomorska 115, where my client was, it was refused for me to enter the building. When I came to the door of the building, the police officer closed the door in front of me and didn't look at my documents. After this, I called to police to register this offense. Also, I made an application to the hotline of attorney general officer and to national police. So, who tells the lie? The police or the lawyer? As for me, I trust the lawyer more. So, does police act contrary to prosecutor's guidance? So, what do we get after all? After all, we have enemies for business, enemies for the state who act against Ukraine. Here they are. Oleg Shenko, the head of Directory General of the National Police, Vadim Desiatnik, an officer in charge of the head of Directory General of the National Police, they don't care about the law, about the country, about the people. They are enemies with whom we must fight and not to keep silence. These people violate all human rights mentioned in Ukrainian Constitution and in the European Convention for the Protection of Human Rights. If these people are empowered to be a guardian, of legality if they violate this law personally. It is necessary to have such police officers who could comply to European requirements and standards of law enforcement. I am sure that this is outside ordering to weaken our state. The representatives of the political party who betrayed the state earlier nowadays are trying to do the same. I want to report them and another ones, and as for me, as the head of the parliament, I will not allow them to hold their plan up. If you have encountered it with such a kind of lawlessness, call to editorial office of 7B Media or write emails.